All right, let's get one of these straight here. My Hero Academia has a fourth movie. I remember hearing about it, never watched the trailer. And as someone who, quite literally, and hold on. This is not a joke. This is not a meme. This is not a effing meme. As someone who currently has the other three movies in their steelbook versions, I have to go watch it and I have to buy the steelbook. At a certain point, I just need the movie still books. I can care less about the series still books. I just want the movie still books. And when it drops, I'm getting it. Link to the video will be in the description down below as per usual. Let's get into it because it's a teaser trailer. So this ain't gonna be a long video, but I'll analyze it like crazy. Oh. Why did we just open up frame one where United States of Smash? Oh, okay, I already understand where this is going. Someone took that he's the next symbol of peace. Oh, I don't like where this is. Oh! Okay, they're doing like a fish. What the f is that? Is he using float just now? What the? At the highest level? No. No, it's not. It's not All Might. I can guarantee you this is not All Might. This is somebody, I'm gonna take a shot in the dark. I'm taking a massive shot in the dark right now. Going off of that alone. Here's the thing though, there has to be another one, right? Hold on, MHA, your next movie. Your next trailer. No, that, like that's the only one. That's the literally only one. Here's my, here's my theory, right? We know we have fanatics for All Might. Uh, Deku is one of them. Mr. Knight, Midnight, whatever his name was. The, the one who could see in the future was one. And a bunch of other people. This guy is probably so much of a fanatic that when he was fighting All for One, that he literally went on like a syndrome, like from the Incredibles type beat, and just started going crazy. And tried to do everything in his power to artificially induce a massive villain for him to come up and become the new symbol of peace. Excuse me. That is my theory, right? My theory is that, that he's doing all this, trying to be a villain so he could become the hero like Syndrome in the first Incredibles. But I guess he goes so far deep into the rabbit hole of villainy that he actually just starts becoming a villain. And the appearance wise, he probably just loved All Might so much that he literally just emulated every aspect of his face. Probably got plastic surgery, got the hair, and everything like that. Now what his actual powers may be, that is something different. Like, I generally don't know all the special effects or whatever. I generally don't know. Because this is an original. None of these are canon. Even though the movies can be argued to be literally canon to the actual series, I think most of them aren't. But that's a topic for another day. All I know is this, the animation about to go crazy. We know we don't have All Might. Every, this is after they get Deku back. So he has access to the other hero's abilities from the vestiges, which means we're about to get crazy in this. I don't care. Say what you want about MHA. I still enjoy watching it. I'm going to watch the movie. Simple as that. So without that, with that being said, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below what you thought about it, what I should watch next, subscribe, hit the bell. Are you going to be watching the movie? Do you care? Let me know. I would love to have a chat about this. 
whatever the case may be. It is I, your boy, NPC Jackson, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.